平板电脑。平 means flat， 板 means board， 电 means electric， and 脑 means brain。Thus， a 平板 is a flat board， which we generally call a tablet， and 电脑。Is an electric brain, more commonly referred to as a computer. Therefore, after putting it all together, 平板电脑 is a tablet computer, or what many these days generically call an iPad. Pay attention to those numbers. 平板电脑 is two three. Four three. When we think about it as two words put together, this is easy to see because here, 平板 is simply an adjective, tablet, and 电脑 is the noun, is describing computer. 业务业 means industry, occupation or job. While、well, 务 means affair or matter, 业务 then means business, service, or professional work. You may hear someone ask you, 请问你是做哪一种业务 Excuse me, what is your profession? Just a little further ahead in this lesson, we'll also discuss a word you just heard me use, 种网站，网 means net, network. If you look at it, you can see it is actually a pictograph of a net. Yes, this is a simplified character, but much in its own way, just like the traditional written form. 网 also still looks like a net. 站 here means station, so. When paired with 网 before it, we can read net station, 网站 A more modern translation, however, tells us 网站 means website. 生产生 means to be born, give birth, or to grow. 产 also means to reproduce. Or simply produce. Together, 生产 means to produce or manufacture. If you hear someone talking about 一家生产公司 they are talking about a manufacturing company. 加工加 basically means to add or plus in mathematics. 工 means work, labor, or in this instance, industry. Hence, when adding industry, 加工 to a product, we are in effect processing or machining. In the broadest sense, it's safe to say 加工 generally means processing. 种 Zhong originally means seed, but in a business context, it's more likely to mean type or kind. 哪一种 Which kind? Is a question you'll likely hear lots of when doing business in China. Zhong is a third tone word, so to mimic this tone properly, you can think of digging down, like to plant a seed. To the lowest part of your voice, and then scooping back up to its more normal register. 配件，配 means to join or to fit, while 件 means item or component. 件 is also a very commonly used measure or unit word, a package of, a pint of. 
or a group of being three examples. Hei jian, then should be thought of as suitable or fitting parts. If a company is looking for electronic products from China, then at some point that same company is undoubtedly going to be interested in servicing or replacing parts. At this time, you'll definitely want to know how to say hei jian, parts or accessories. Ti gong. In the word ti gong, ti means to raise or offer, while gong means to supply. Ti gong means then to offer, supply, or provide. If you want to ask, can your company provide product parts? You'll say, 你们的公司可以提供配件吗?